Hello there, and welcome to episode 470 of this series where I play the regions of Europe one by one on GeoGuessr. Doing so in a tennis match format as outlined in the rules you saw in the introduction. Basically meaning I have to play rounds of 5000 points within 5 minutes in order to score. And uh, I do so with 24 minutes on the clock today, and that is unfortunate, as I was looking forward to maybe serve home the ma no, serve home this first set. I'm leading the game 6-5 in the first set, and I'm 30-15 up in the current game. But this is like being in the final stages of a set at Wimbledon or the US Open or the, the French Open. Like you're going to try to serve something home and then you feel your knees are buckling and you're, you're starting to sweat and, and the grip is starting to sweat because you know you're going up against something Spanish. You're going up against Madrid. The Comunidad de Madrid. Oh my word. This is not going to be fun. I can tell you already. I mean, we've played larger chunks of Spain before. And some of them have given us grief, others not. And uh, while this isn't huge in size, 8,000 square kilometers, which is well fairly big, but uh, it's not much bigger than the uh, Hungarian uh, counties I've played in the last couple of episodes. But we're covering 6.8, almost 6.9 million people in the region. And the capital itself has 3.3 million people. And this is, and of course, I've never been to Madrid. I've never been to Spain. And uh, I just know how hard, well, it's not Portugal. That's a blessing, at least. Portugal is notoriously difficult to navigate on signs. But Spain can be bad enough alone. And... Uh, I do not have high hopes for this, especially with all these little towns dotting, towns and cities dotting the countryside around the capital. Oh, yeah. I think I will be happy if I finish this within an hour, and if I score a single point, I will be happy. Let's see what I say once I'm done with this. Okay, stout hearts, let's go. Play, make a challenge. Say a prayer. Say several. Oh no. Okay. We're looking at the waterway to the southeast. Why could that be? Are we looking that far? Or are we looking at maybe over there? That looks, yeah, that shape looks very, very, very promising. Okay, so where could we be? We're quite far away. So, I mean, how far away are we? How far can we actually see? So, let's see. So, the south end of that is to the southeast. So, we, we got to be somewhere up here by La Granjilla. Or maybe even further up. We could be like up here. For all I know. Just gonna plunk the market there for now. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Uh, oh yeah. We are. It seems to be at least on the crest of a hill. Are we right on the border of the? And what did it say? It said something fuego, didn't it? Something, something Fuego, I think. Mirador. Okay, well, let's not get too caught up in that. Oh, does it say Ara No, Alto de Malagón. Alto de Malagón, can we find that? Alto de Malagón. Yeah. Alto. 
to the Malagoon. Okay, where to start? Uh, head down the hill. I spent a lot of time here now. Oops. Okay, so this is a zigzaggy one. Whoa. I hope whoever did this came in a four wheel drive and a very solid one to boot. Okay, so this is a very zigzaggy road. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why you see all these Spanish mountain goats on Tour de France and the, the Vuelta, the Tour of Spain. Wow, this road. Wait a minute, are we up here? Yeah, the Malagón. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, so let's see. Yes, yes, yes. We're somewhere, somewhere there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the road is starting to curve in the opposite direction. Is it now? So how close to that curve are we? We're not very close to that curve at all. I'm looking westwards. Yes, that's. I want to say that we are. Yeah. Yes. Ha! Gotcha. 4015. I might actually bring home this set after all, but uh, I'm not going to count my chickens just yet. There's still some hatching to do. But yeah, I was very happy. Oh my god, another one. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder if I go this way, maybe I'll be able to look both up and down the valley and try to figure out what is up and what is down. Southwest, northeast. Well, it seems to be climbing to the northeast, but. Uh... Oh, here we go. The M130. So, where could that be? Not the N, but the M. Hmm. So here we got the 512, so that's an... Let's see, the 510s. So 130. Here we got the 300s and the 200s. And here we got the hundreds. Let's see. So the one nineteen, twenty three, seventeen, twenty, twenty nine. Please let the one thirty be there, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Twenty-four, twenty-three. Am I still within the region, though? Thirty-one. Ah, oh, so typical. You get the, the ones with the numbers around, and then I oh, has one thirty. Whoa! 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 But okay, fourteen. It says. Mirador malo. Mallorquin Mallorquin mm, Let's see So we've gone west Let's see now, let's see now, let's see now Okay So here we go in almost straight west That could be here Let's have a look around the bend here. Yeah, the Moreno bend is a little like so, and then there's some squiggly bits here, and we're going very much northwards. And turning, and 
if I am right, then we shall have a bend around here where we will be going northwestwards for a bit. Whoa. And we are. We are. So does that mean we're around there? That's a very nice and straight bit, isn't it? We are. Oh, please let me get this one right. Um, let's say we're about there. Yes! Did I do it on time, though? That's the next question. I think I did. But anyways, that means 22 minutes on the next run. And if I got it right, that's the set point. Yes, it's the set point. Four, four, seven, five. And we start... Whoa, that was a hard-fought set. Okay, so we start the next set with 22 minutes on the clock. Let's not spoil this for now one now. Okay, uh, where are we? Okay, so we're in the town. That's that's the hardest stuff in Spain, really, for me. Okay, we we can get a hotel that way, but I would like to know. Oh, well, let's see, Calaviento. Okay, or Calaviento. We can get a parking lot and museums and the church. Probably that one. I just wish. I had an idea on where to go to find a main road. Okay, so this all uh, here we are. Let's see now. So we've got a roundabout and where are we? We got the Kaya Vilches. Okay, Vilches. Yeah, we're definitely not in Madrid, but. Could be in some suburb suburb of Madrid. Come on, load. Okay. Let's see. We're going southwesterly. No. Oh, we got some signs here. We do have some sort of intersection coming up. Let's see, no, mm, no, no, no. Calle Virgen de la Soledad, okay. Well, and what did it say on that wall? Alfareria. So the uh, municipal, uh, municipal school of Alfareria. Alfareria. Of course, I have no idea where Alfareria is, so I will need something more than that. At least here we got a road going through. T oh, what does it say up here? Let's see. Campo Real. Okay, I was wondering about that because there was. Uh, I did see Campo Real on, on a sign in town here. So, and then this is Vilches as well. Is Vilches, oh, Vilches, is that? So Campo Real and Vilches and Alfareria. Hmm. As usual, when I get into stuff like this, my eyes are going cross-eyed, and we're already coming up on 
five minutes so this one is gonna go into overtime I just hope I can find this without spending away too much time no we are just wasting time here uh, what's on top of this hill what does that sign say here we got something the M209 and towards the R3 this is the R3 can I find the M209 it's a great thing the M209 Campo Real here we are let's see can we find it so yeah the Vilches here we go and we were here's the Viento we were about here just too late but uh, let's see and this is the bazaar I guess it's the Jesus Medina Jimenez what does it say here yep Medina Jimenez so we are there yes just a little too late but uh, still that's uh, it's a find 21 minutes on the clock that is worrisome because we are scraped on time well not yet but let's see we got some signs over there this is an intersection good what does it say on the sign it says the m608 let's see if we can find that then that must be on a different side of town so here's the 605 607 Please let the 608 be nearby. 612. 607. 603. Where is the 608? Could of course be like a further out of town. There's a 609. As usual. This is 608. Okay, towards Soto del Real and Guadalupe over there. And we can also go to Venturada, which is over there. Alright. That suggests. So we can go to Soto del Real. We can go to Venturada, and uh, so where, how do we find a road that goes both to, both to Venturada and to Guadalix de la Sierra? And that thing, I believe, means downtown center. So let's see. Bienvenidos. Hola. Okay. So that is 608 to Soto del Real, to the southwest, that works. And then that one bends like heck into Bienvenido. That would be weird if it isn't this one. So that means, let's see, we're looking north. So that means we ha are just exiting here. Yes, and that was within the time limit. Good. 15 all. 20 minutes on the clock. That's less. Uh, well, we almost have five minutes, and we do have signs. Oh, and we have a pedestrian bridge, and we have, yes, we have plenty of hints. Now we just need to find where we are. we we'll turn going southeast. Okay, the M502 to cut up on So the 503, 501, why is it <laughs> never the one you're looking for? It's just never has the 502 okay so the 502 
is in the direction of the E90 and the A5. I'm going to put one down there for now. So, Carabanchel is down there. And the E90 and the A5. The A5 is crossing here. So I can go to Albacete and out of la, de la Carrera. That must be Avenida de la Carrera, I think. Five or two. And the 502 is not a very long straight. It seems to start seems to start here and uh, okay let's have a look at the layout of this roundabout it's a normal roundabout there's no overpasses so it's not that one unless there's a tunnel going under here but I don't think there is and so we got this one what ah is there something about Albacete here Albacete and Avenida de los Angeles. No, that's not what it said. So, so Albacete to the east. Yeah, that works. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is it. This is it. So let's see. We're about here, aren't we? Now, this pedestrian bridge is not on the map. But that thing there, it's got to be that one, right? And if we're looking east, no, let's see, let's look perpendicular. And if I'm looking perpendicular to the road, I'm looking straight at the middle of it, so I should be about there. Now that's a little too far down, like so. And also, Let's see, I'm nicking that building if I'm looking straight east. That should be good. Yes! Ha. Nice one! I did not... I did not expect that. Madrid, you might have just become my favorite capital region in the entire game. And that's even excluding Oslo. How about that? That was anything but what I expected. <laughs> and even those little squiggly mountain roads. That one. Well, that was actually not that hard compared to the other one here. But that lake gave it away. Ah, and of course the sign on top of the hill. If that hadn't been there, I think I would still have been looking. Ah, that was immensely satisfactory. I take great, great comfort in that. Yay. So that is episode 470 done. Please check in tomorrow for episode 471. Until then, bye-bye.